Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Alrighty guys, so today I have a really fun video. It is savings challenge day. I swear I wait all month long to be able to have this like really nice um, savings challenge video. Some of you guys get to do your savings challenges every week and I have started doing that with my little bit of rollover, but just the way we get our income, um, being that it's a small business, we tend to have most of our income at the end of the month. And so just doing one big savings challenge video at the end of the month is like, it just works for me. And yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're doing a, uh, a fun savings challenge video that I have been waiting all month long for. So let's get right into this and see how much money we'll be working with today. Okay, so today we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, oops, these are sticky, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So we have 555, so let me set this up. All right, so that is all set. So I've got my savings challenge binder out here, this little cute glittery one. I've also got my 500 color savings mini binder uh, savings challenge, which is available on my Etsy shop, Budget Better Life, which is linked in the description below if you guys are interested. So we've got this one, we've got this one. I've got the big piggy bank out today. We might be stuffing something into there. I've got the 100 envelope box out. So we've got options. I've got all my dice and my markers, my scratch off tools. I've got wild cards. And I also have some of my IOUs. Again, these are available in my Etsy store as well. Um, but I've got some of these just in case things get really crazy, but hopefully not. And we have enough money for everything that I want to do today. But first thing is first, I don't have any ones at all. And I think I should check my wallet. Um, because if I have some ones, I think I'm going to want them. This is what I have for ones for rollover so far this week. So one, two, three, four, five. I only have five. That's it. All right. Well, let me take a five out. Um, I'll put that in back into my rollover and we'll work with what we've got. We don't have many ones. We'll have to be rounding up. And I think that's fine. Oh, okay. Also, before we get started, I have to show you something else, guys. Check it out. I found another star note. I'm so excited. So I've been looking through every time I get money um, and when I get change back, too. I look through and I look for the star notes now. Um, and I really enjoy looking for these. But they don't have a home. So let me grab the bills binder out because... Now this is all in stuff for the month because I just paid all the bills. So debt, we're leaving this right here because I'm not doing any savings challenges today that are going towards debt. That will be in another video. Um, and we're just doing savings. So let's take a look in here. Okay, so this is the 20 star note that we just um, had. And then this is a 50 from before. And then this was my first $20 star note that I ever found. So let's add this $20 star note to this. And then this is also, look, I found more ones. These were in this savings challenge folder. So why don't we use these as well? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine extra dollars and none of these are star notes. So these are good. These are good to add. So we'll add those right in and I'm just going to keep these star notes right in here for now. I swear guys, I'm working on um, finding a home for them, um, creating a little something for the star notes. But for right now, they just live in this savings envelope. And, and yeah, like I said, we're not doing debt. So that's going to stay put. So this is all set. So good. We got a couple extra ones there. Also, you guys might be wondering why I only have $5.55 and not $7.55. If you watched my budget with me video, you will know that I allocated $755 to savings challenges. Let me tell you what I'm doing with that $200. So that $200 is still at the bank because I have ordered 
$2 bills. I'm so excited. So I never get like $2 bills like in my change. There's one store that I know of that has $2 bills and you can ask them for in your change if you want $2 bill, if you want $2 bills, but it's like an hour and a half away from me. So I'm not gonna drive all the way there just to get a few $2 bills. So I asked the teller at my bank if they can get me $2 bills and she said, yes, we can order them in, but they come in bundles of $200 worth. And I was like, all right, let me take $200 of this savings challenge money and put it towards getting those $200 bills. So you will see, wait, $200 bills? What am I talking about? <laughs> Oh my gosh. So what I'm trying to say is you guys will see at some point a video with me looking through 200 $2 bills. Yes, I think I said that right. That's where that money went. So let's get going here. But before we do, I need to do something else with this money. So we already found my star note. We took that out. $200 is still at the bank for $2 bills. A hundred dollars of this needs to go back to the bank and let me tell you why. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 dollars. I'll put these back. Okay, so we went to a community event where there was art and entertainment, uh, live band, food, all of that. So it was a really lovely evening and um, they were having this event in our local community to raise money for the art center and um, the programs and different things that they are doing within the community to bring art and entertainment to us. And so we decided to donate a hundred dollars to their program, which will be supporting art and entertainment within our local community. So I'm very happy that we did that. And we also enjoyed ourselves, had a lovely evening. Um, we, you know, walked around, played games. Everyone from the community and other surrounding towns were out and about, listened to live music. Um, we brought our son down and it was just a really nice night. And I felt totally happy about donating $100 to them because I think that is a really important cause and it's really amazing that they're able to do that and provide that for our community so a hundred dollars of this needs to go back to the bank for that donation so we've got 20 40 60 80 100 which i will put right back into this pouch to go right back to the bank so that is taken care of Alrighty, guys now we have I don't even know, an undetermined amount because I took money out, I took a star note out, I added some ones in. But anyways, this is what we've got. I'm not gonna count it. Wait, should I count it? Do you guys want me to count it? I think I I think I kind of have to count it at this point. I mean, this is what this channel's all about. All right, I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna count it, guys. All right, so finally, after doing all of that, this is the money that we have to work with to go towards savings challenges. We have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. Oh, these two trip me up every time. All right, so we're at three. Uh, three, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So 444, I think I counted that right. And I don't know, if not, it's all going into savings challenges either way. But let me set this all back up and oops, oops, they wanted to separate. All right, perfect. So we are ready to roll on some savings challenges now. All righty guys, so let me put this bigger binder away because the first thing that I wanna get into is my 500 color savings. And I have been filling this up, like each week I've been putting a bit in and I'm so excited. It's getting to be like quite full. I think I only have a few spots left. So the way this one works, if you guys haven't seen it before, um, it is a cute little mini binder where uh, you roll a dice and whatever color you land on, you find a corresponding color and stuff that amount. So let's roll this and see if there's any spots available. Green. All right, so I got green. Let's take a look here. So that one's full, that one's full, that one's full. Green. Oh, good. Green isn't full. So we're going to put the $40 in for green. And I like to try fold these so that it looks really cute. And oh, I might have overfolded on that one. Let's see if it fits. I like their little faces to be st sticking out. Okay, perfect. I think that's going to work. 
All right, so that's good. So all of these spots are full. What about this one? Oh, we need a blue. We need a yellow. Oh, we need, guys, I'm peeking ahead. I'm, and then I got a rainbow. I only have three spots left. Should I keep going? All right, let's go and see if we get a blue or a yellow. And if we don't get a blue or a yellow, that means we'll have to stuff the rainbow, which is 80. So let's see. Red. Oh my gosh, that means I have to stuff the 80. Guys, I should just do it and get it out of the way, shouldn't I? I think I should. All right, let's see what, what I have. 50, 60, 70. And then if I put a 10, I've got the 80. So 50, 60, 70, 80. And since, like I said, I don't have a red, I don't have the gradient red. And that means the only other one I can do is this 80, and I'm going to do it. 50, 70, 80, going in to the mini binder. And then I think I only have two spots left. I'm tempted to just finish it out so that I can unstuff it. And also, I kind of want to start the $1,000 mini binder that I just came out with. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should play some more savings challenges first. And then if I still have money, I'm going to come back to this mini binder because look how nice and full this is. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're going to put this away for now, play a few more games. And then if I have money at the end, I'll come back to that before hitting the piggy bank and before hitting the 100 envelope. All right, so that brings us to this cute little mini binder. And I'm going to start off here on my Larry Bucks. So I want to kind of try to get some of these like completed or closer to being completed and the way that larry bucks works it's a 400 um 400 savings 200 on the front and 200 on the back i actually didn't know that when i first got this i had no idea it had it on the back and so i just assumed i'd be doubling up and sticking the stickers on top of <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Sticking the stickers on top to make the 400 and use up all the stickers. And then I watched someone's video and I saw that someone had flipped it over and I was like, oh my gosh, I never even thought to flip it over. So yeah, we're working on this front side. I think once it gets to 200, I'll probably call it complete unstuff it and then work on the back. Just cause the sooner I can get this money like into an actual savings account, I think I'll feel better. But yeah, let's see what we can do here. I got a bunch of 10, so why don't we do, uh, why don't we do this 15 here? Why don't we do a 22 here? This is kind of unorthodox, sorry guys. Yeah, so that's what I decided. I'm gonna do this 15, this green 15, and I'm gonna do this yellow 22. So I've got the 10 and the 15, and the 10, 20, 1, 22. So let's grab our stickers. These stickers are so cute. I love Larry. And this challenge comes from Hands and Bands. And all of the challenges that you see and anything that you see in my videos is always linked in the description below. So we've got the green one on there. And we've got the yellow one here. Oh, it's too cute. All right, so I did those two. So let's put that in. And I kind of want to do one more. Why don't I do this pink 25? And we'll just like keep it going, you know? So I'll do 10, 25. Like I said, I've got the money and I kind of want to get somewhere on these. So 10, 25 as well. I'm going to do the pink one. Oh, this is my first pink one. Oh, that's so cute. All right. So, and I haven't done a blue one yet. <gasps> Guys, maybe I need to do a blue one too. Stop. Is it crazy if I just keep going? I'm doing it. I'm doing a blue one too. 25. I'm going to do this one. Haven't done blue. 10, 25. Look at that. Boy, I know where to come to if I need 10s for, for change. All right. I think I did this right. Okay. So I did the 25, the 15, the 25, and the 22. And I'm adding in... Let's see, let's see. Everything's, the bills are all turned around. I think it's gonna drive me nuts if I don't flip them the right way. Yeah, it will drive me nuts. Okay, so we have total going into Larry Bucks, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 86, 87. Are you serious? Did I really just put 87 into Larry Bucks? Oh my gosh, let me count it again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 86, 87. 87 going into Larry. Hey, if we want to get closer 
to um should i count the whole thing no i'm not i'll count it at the end i'm not i'm not counting all that right now okay so if i but I, like i was saying if i want to get closer to 400 i've got to start putting some money into these and we've got it so might as well all right so that's larry bucks done next is saveopoly oh see i could have spent all that money on saveopoly guys i got too excited with larry and the cute stickers all right, let's do Saveopoly. I'm gonna fold this up and set it aside for the moment. So Saveopoly comes from Savvy Budgets, and again, she will be linked in the description below. So let's just grab a dice and a pen because I was marking this off. I left off here. So let's see if we can get all the way back around to go. Here we go. I'm not gonna have any money left, guys. All right, 15. <laughs> 10, 15. I'm definitely not going to have money left to get back to that little mini binder if I keep playing them like this. Another one. This is good though. We're like marking off a bunch in a row. All right. I want to roll something other than a one here. A one. Oh my gosh. Chance. Pick one through 100. How am I going to choose? That's so funny because I have such a hard time deciding like what amounts to put unless it like tells me what amount to put. Guys, I think I need to just put something like simple, like a 10, because otherwise I'll spend too much money. So I'm doing a 10 for that one, and I'm going to roll, and I'm going to try not to get a 1. Yay, a 6. Okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It says go to jail? Are you kidding? <laughs> go to jail? What does that mean? <laughs> All right, $2 fee in the jar. All right, $2. I can do $2. $2 for jail bail is not bad, all right? But I'm gonna keep rolling, guys. I'm out of jail. Guess what? I decided I'm out of jail. I'm rolling still. <laughs> three, all right, one, two, three. Uh-oh, roll two times and double the amount. So roll two times and double the amount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll two dice and then I have to double the amount. So here we go. All right, so we rolled a seven, but we have to double it, so it's gonna be 14. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, let's put it there. Guys, I'm still determined to get to this go. So I'm gonna roll again. I think it'll be okay. Three. All right, where do we get? One, two, three. $10, another 10? I should stop and like actually put some money into other savings challenges. All right, all right, we did not get to go, but we got really far and it looks like we put a lot of money into Saveopoly. So let's count this up and see what we did. So we did 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 56. And why don't we change out these ones in case we need them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So put 5 in, take a 5 out. We could trade out these 10s too. Put two 10s in, take a 20. So 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 56. Going into Saveopoly. That was fun. See, this is why my favorite savings challenges are the actual games. And I'm not gonna count what's in there already. I'm just gonna add that right to it. So yeah, my favorite savings challenges are the ones where you play games. All right, guys. So you know what I should do before I keep going? I should go all the way in the back to the biggest one, to the 2K savings challenge. Because if I roll something big here, I might not have enough for the littler ones. So that's what I'm gonna do. So in this drawer here, I have all the dice for Ira's um, savings challenges, his dice games. Oh, and that was my little dice from Savvy. Okay, and I'm. this is the big one that you roll for the 2K savings challenge. So I'm gonna roll this dice and I'm gonna see what it says. Zero, zero, what does that mean? What does that mean, zero? You don't save anything? Zero. <laughs> oh my gosh. I keep rolling this dice thinking it's gonna like give me a 90 and that I need to roll it first because I won't have any money for the others. And I swear it's doing this to me on purpose because if I would just like get to it and barely have any money left and then roll this, it'd probably like laugh in my face. Should I roll it again? Because that was a zero. Let's roll it. Let's roll it. 
This is, this is what this is all about. Just enjoying it, just winging it, and I'm totally winging it, so here we go. 10, see, that's not bad. Let's do 10, guys. I can handle 10 into the 2K savings challenge. And I'm not gonna count this one either. I'm just gonna let it build up. So that one is good. My little pile over here is like dwindling so fast. But guys, I am just having the most fun. All right, so here we are on the mystery savings scratch off. Ooh, I love a good mystery. All right, let me set this aside again, stay. Okay, so this comes from Sam's Crafts and Customs. And again, she is linked in the description below if you guys are interested in this. And I'm gonna set my little dice up here. No, I'm gonna put this one back. We already rolled this, he's done. All right, these two, they're still in play. But let me grab my blingy scratcher from Erica over at Black and Blue, and let's just keep going. So we gotta get to 250 at some point. I'm gonna need to scratch more than just one. All right, let's scratch this one to start, and see what we get. Two? A two dollar? Really? That's amazing. I'm getting low numbers. All right, there's my two, but I'm gonna scratch the next one as well. So let's keep scratching 15. All right, I can handle 15 and two. Cause I got hit with the 20 and the 25 off the bat. I thought all of these were gonna be like that. All right, should we scratch one more? No, 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 Kels, calm down. All right, let me put this back. Let me brush the dust off. All right, we got a 15, we got a two. So we're doing what the card says, all right? We're doing 10, 15, 16, $17. Going in to the mystery scratch. And here is that envelope. And again, I'm not gonna count it. I'm just gonna let it be fun, let it build up. And that brings us to the Save 330 from Budget with Ira. And this one, I believe this is the dice for this one. So let's give it a roll and see what we get. We got an eight. All right, that's not bad, five, six seven eight that's a decent roll right it's like i've only rolled this thing three times like i want to get somewhere on these you know but i did say that i wanted to get back to this mini binder so let's just leave it at eight so we've got five six seven eight going in oh gotta open it up all right going down in and that one is all set so let's put this one back and that brings us to the save 1050. Now this is a 20 sided die. So we've got a chance of potentially rolling a 20 here. Let's see, honestly, I'm hoping for a 20. Like give me a 20, I'm ready for it. Wait, why are you rolling away? Oh, stop. <laughs> My desk is slanted, so it wants to just roll towards me. I got a three, one, two, three. I'm gonna roll it again, okay? I'm gonna roll it on this, maybe it'll stay put. All right, I'm rolling again. And again, I'm like 20. Give me the 20. Here we go. Here we go. 12. That's not bad. I'll take a 12. I'll take a 12. So we've got the 3 plus the 12. So we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And again, I'm going to keep these ones and swap it out for a 5. So we'll put this dice away. And we will drop this down in. Perfect. Now, we already rolled this one, so that's it. No more no more third time, okay? That one's done. So now we're on to wild card, and these are my wild cards. They're already shuffled up, and I don't know what order they are in, and so I just draw one from the top, and then I go with that one. So let's draw one, and we got a five. Cute, our last five. So I think that should do it. I'll just draw one of those, because I want to make those last and I'll drop the five in the back with the other cards I've already pulled, and I'll put the five down in. And that is gonna do it for this beautiful, sparkly savings challenge binder. All right, so let's put this aside, and then let's decide what we wanna do next. So let's see how much money we have left. We have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 126 is what we have left. And I'm thinking we should, I'm thinking we should put some money into either this big black piggy bank or this 100 envelope box. And I think I'm gonna choose the big black piggy bank. 
And I'm definitely gonna put this 50 in because I want bigger bills in this. Oh, look at this, I've got this one. Why don't I keep going on this? So how many do I have in here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 45, but then I got these 10s here. So what if I go backwards? 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, there. If I go from there to there, that's the $50. So maybe I should do that. Let me do that. All right, so let me get my pen here and I'm gonna color. All right, so I'm gonna color 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So I'm gonna color from here on. All right, so I've done it. I've colored them all, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's gonna be this $50. Let me pull this forward to make sure you guys can see it. So we've got $50 going down into the black piggy bank. Oh my gosh, see, it's already getting full. And I know that this thing is like filled with ones and fives and I want it to be full with like bigger bills. So that's why I've been trying to save this box and not fill it too fast with low amounts. Okay, so then I did say that I wanted to come back to this mini binder. Let's take a look through here and see how many we actually are um, missing. So it looks like I have 50 in the blue and 60 in the yellow. And then I think that's it. That's it, 50 for the blue and 60 for the yellow. So how many do we have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, we definitely have a 50, but we've also got the 60. Why don't we do the 60? All right, so let me do the 60. All right, so let me do the 60. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That leaves that 10 there. But also, I want to try to condense this down to 20s because I don't want to um, stuff this too heavily with, um, what do we have here? I've got two 20s there. I don't want to stuff it too much with uh, smaller bills. I've got two 20, no, I've got one 20. All right, I've got one 20 here. Let's do this. We'll do one folder at a time. This is the Saveopoly. I've got one 20, so we'll put 20 down in. 10, 20 into Saveopoly. I'll just go, if I can't condense it all in one folder, I'll just go to a couple different folders. So I've got a 20 here. So we'll go 10, 20 into Larry. Let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. So that gets me 40 and then it looks like I've got two 20s in the 2K. So why don't I take those? So we'll go 20, 40 and then we'll go, wait, I didn't need 40. I only needed 20. Okay, that 20 stays. And I'll go, actually, this one's kind of yucky. That one needs to go back to the bank. All right, whatever. That 20 stays. 120 came out. So 10, 20. So 40 back into the 2K. And then I should have my 60 in 20s instead of 10s for my mini binder. But I can't get all these bills to be flat. All right, there we go. So again, we'll put this aside. And we have 20, 40, 60 dollars, 20, 40, 60. And that is going into the mini binder. Oh, and I need to flip the page because it's not going into this 50, it's going into this 60. Guys, and then all I have left to do is one little spot and I will have completed something. I'm so excited. All right, awesome. So that is the 500 color savings mini binder. And look how thick this is getting. Oh my gosh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So that is the 500 color savings mini binder. And then with the rest of this money, why don't I just stick it into the debt envelope and I will just pull it when I do that um, debt video. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 going into the debt envelope. This money will be pulled when I play my savings challenges that go towards paying down debt. And I will just add this right in here. And then um, also the next video you guys will see is me playing those savings challenges that go towards debt. And I have allocated 380 towards that um, for this month as well, along with anything that's in this folder. 
And so that's going to do it for this video. Um, but definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.